is a horrible creature. They didn't say that I actually committed an abortion and, you know, she just, once again, she is assuming, Cora, please understand that knowingly and assuming is two different things. You got to understand, did he actually technically say it directly to you that he gave the abortion to Jesse? No. No. You just assumed, and in your gut feeling, you thought that she had an abortion because you are very close to Jesse. Correct? Okay, so let's continue to talk facts. Uh, you knew she was pregnant, correct? I'm sorry. So, by you, you've been very close to, to Jesse since she was young. Okay? Now, you've talked, you've, you know you know Jesse the way she felt about her mother. You know, the way she feels around when her mom comes around. And you feel the nervousness, the intimidation. But you're going to do so much Objection. for Jesse. Leading the witness. Objection. Defendant wants to state what she knows or doesn't know. However, lead it into what she feels and thinks. Okay. All right. Uh... Let me ask you this. Okay, going back to knowing or assuming. Did anybody, the mother, the father, the doctor, told you that they would have an abortion? No. What did you know that was said to you? That they were going to kill and see if they were shopping. Okay. And they came back from shopping and you see something was wrong with Jesse, correct? <laughs> now, did you know what was wrong with her? No. Okay. Now, what did the mother say that it happened to Jesse? That it was something she ate on that trip. Okay. And did you try to do anything for her? I wasn't allowed to. Why? The mom said that she would. Okay, so you had no authority because you're just a help yeah. in the house. Okay, that's that's all I have right now. Cora, I understand that you did not have any authority in that house. Um, do do you know what the police are? Yeah. Do you know how to report a crime to? Yeah. When you were unable to take care of what. You assumed but didn't know to be a crime because you were unable to because of what uh, her parents would allow you to do. Did you take the appropriate sorts and re the appropriate steps and report it to the authority? Objection. Overruled. Did you take the appropriate steps and report it to the authority? <laughs> okay, why did you not report it to the authority? Your Honor, because objection. She does not know what was going on. You cannot assume and make okay, that fact okay. to go to a if she doesn't know what's going on, why would she attempt to help Cora when she was sick? Or excuse me, why would she attempt to help Jesse when she was sick, Cora? Because she was sick. Okay. If I felt like she was sick and I'm there for her, why wouldn't I want to be there? What kind of sickness did you think she had? She could have been. No, no, no. What could not? What she could have and what she couldn't have been. What did you think she had, Cora? I was unaware of what she had. You were unaware of what she had. Have you had children yourself in the past? Have you lost children yourself in the past? Yes. Objection. We're not here for her daughter. We're here for leading, we state, we leading, leading, leading to signs and symptoms of a normal pregnancy that a normal woman just can stand up there. Just when she tells just let him tell about her daughter and how she died. Okay, okay, now. What's your reason for this? Sir? Huh? You said what now? No, I, yeah, I'm talking to my no, thing. I'm talking to He's good. Oh, uh, okay. No, the reason why I said this, he's saying that we have a daughter that has nothing to do with relationship between her and Jesse. It's just saying, could you reword that? Or not? not a problem. You are familiar with the normal signs and symptoms of a pregnant woman as you yourself have had children, correct? Yeah. After Jesse's return from Kansas, was she still having those signs and symptoms of being pregnant? Yeah. What signs and symptoms was she having? She was going around not eating. 
Okay, and you were concerned for her well-being and also for the well-being of that baby, correct? Did you, in your best assumption, your best guess, your best heart, your best feeling, your best knowledge, did you know that there was something wrong with her? I knew something was wrong with her. I was not aware of what was wrong. Did you try to help her? Yes, I tried. Other than speaking to her mother, who you already knew, as your defense attorney has already stated, would not allow you to help her, what else did you do to help her? I tried talking to her dad to get him to let her mom know. Outside of her family, what did you do? Nothing. So you sat back and did nothing as Jesse died. Is this correct? 